since you clicked on this video, I thank you very much for choosing Milky Gaming. But I have one more favor to ask. If you would be so kind as to take two seconds to click the like button, I would be most gracious. I spent a lot of time on this video, including editing and recording, so it would mean the world to me if you could give me a little something back. Also, if you feel needed, leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this and all my other videos. I will 100% get back to you. But other than that, please sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Hey, what's up guys? It's Cookie Monster Zadie from Woku Gaming, and today we're going to be deciding whether or not silencers and or suppressors affect the recoil of any gun. But for testing purposes, I will be using the FAMAS because of the fact that everybody debates over that particular gun. Also, I wanted to make this test as fair as possible without any variables, so I used the same exact class setup for each class and used the Team Deathmatch match matchmaking settings. Another thing I did here, as you see, is I shot in the same exact spot every time, so I knew I was staying the same distance away from the wall. This test will include a series of six tests total, three with the silencer and three without it. So continue watching until we go over the results in the end. As you can see here, the FAMAS has an upward right recoil pattern. Therefore, I recommend it, while running, keep your camera down so when shooting, more of your bullets will actually hit. So as you see here, the left side is the silencer, and the right side is without the silencer. If you take a look at the left side, which is the silencer, you'll notice that the bullet holes are a bit closer together, but this was only a three trial experiment, and even though they were closer together, I'm sure it was just random. Because another variable to add in is the fact that if you shoot as soon as you finish reloading, it will make your spread a lot further apart. Watch this demonstration. Another thing you should know is that when using the silencer, it's way easier to use the iron sights because of the fact that there is no added muzzle flash. Also, you can notice that when hip firing with the silencer, the spread decreases. Therefore, it kind of does reduce it when aiming down the sight. Because think about it, even though it barely reduces it when aiming down the sight, it's still pretty logical. But, if you're still looking for a way to reduce recoil, then reflux sight is the way to go. For some reason, nobody really knows why, the reflux sight has a lot less recoil than the red dot. It also provides a zoom advantage. Though, as many rumors may say, the reflux sight does not zoom in faster than the red dot sight. As you can see here, the reflux sight provides a spread that is a lot closer together. But beware PS3 users, because your reflux sight has a lot more glare 